What's up guys? Welcome back. James St. Michael here. I hope y'all are doing well. Today we are back today with just some quick news, a real quick video. For any of you guys out there who didn't know, big news today. Apple has dropped a cool new little surprise for any aspiring producers out there, music creators, anyone creative who's looking to get into music. If you're not sure what software to use before, you could always try out Ableton. You could have tried out FL Studio. Hell, you could have even tried out Pro Tools with their Pro Tools First program. But for the first time ever, Apple is now releasing a free 90 day trial with full access to a full copy of Logic Pro X. So essentially you get a 90 day trial with the whole program to see if it is the program for you. Now, uh, who's this for? That's a great question. Um, obviously, if you're getting into this, if you're coming from GarageBand and you're thinking of upgrading, you can try this out and see if it feels for you. Me personally, I wish I had this when I was about 15 because the first time that I went into Logic from GarageBand, I thought, what in the hell is automation? And I, would, I was way out of my league now. I was way out of my level. Um, but I had already bought the program, so I kind of had to learn it, and it was a headache so this really helps you out for one if you are a garage band user and you're trying to gauge if you're ready for that next step or it helps you out too if you feel like you're in a different DAW and you want to come to logic and see what life's about on this side of the island of music production uh, you can try it now without having to go out and commit to $200 down which even then guys I kid you not there's not a better deal out there for any piece of DAW like there is for logic for $199 um, as expensive as Apple is and everything that they produce, their software is like the deal of the century. So that's the first piece of news. Logic Pro X now has a free 90 day trial with full access to the whole program and all of its loops and samples and everything. So if you make a hit in 90 days, man, I guess that answers your question on whether you should get it or not and stay with it. Now, the second most important thing about today's news and video, Logic Pro X 10.5 five may very well be on the horizon now there was a picture that apple had posted on their apple educations page now in the photo you will see where apple has actually brought in ableton live session workflow and features into logic pro x's arrangement workflow and this looks groundbreaking awesome it was actually also derived from the garage band workflow on an ipad where you work in similar off of an MPC style um, melodics and ideas and beats that are constructed in squares or rectangles and you just trigger them. Now that is being implemented into Logic, but in a much more familiar fashion like you would in Ableton Live. I can't say for sure, but from what I'm seeing here, uh, it seems like we may be seeing more features than just this. If you also look, there's an XY pad, uh, which also comes from the GarageBand application, also used on an iPad uh, for just assigning parameter controls and being able to manipulate effects in an XY uh, fashion. With typical updates like this, in Logic, you've come to see where 10 point and then whatever the number is next, say four or five, that means new features. When you say, when you see something like 10.4 point and then a number, it's that third digit. When it's an update like that, it's just bug fixes typically maybe small things here and there but the real features come in 10 point and then whatever the new number is so right now we're in 10.4.8 i believe that we are going to be seeing from all the research i've seen so far and what i've been able to see that's been leaked we're going to be seeing 10.5 very very soon that is today's news i want you guys to let me know what features you guys want to see apple implement in the next logic pro x update i want to know what's on y'all's wish list I want to know what you guys have been up to, and I want to know what DAW you guys are currently rocking to right now. Let me know what y'all are working on. If you got any music, y'all created, drop it down in the description. I want to check it out. Let's all share our art. Let's all see who's doing what. Let's all learn from each other and be inspired by each other. With that said, as always, I hope you take care. Good vibes and peace.